Good morning again. We're going to uh, begin the ceremony with the, uh, the national anthem. We have a treat today. Um, we have three Bridgewater Raynham students. Well, these three now seniors are stars on the stage. They're also high achiever NHS students who are leaders for us and other groups. Liam is senior class president. Raiden is the band drum major. And Emma is president of the Culture Club. Please rise. Mitchell Elementary School Ribbon Cutting. On behalf of the School Building Committee, I thank you for joining us today where we recognize and thank the many people who have made this building a reality. Like any building built to endure, a building committee also requires a solid foundation. The Mitchell School Building Committee is fortunate to be founded with dedicated knowledgeable members who have successfully guided this complex building process, and I am proud to have worked with them. This group consists of volunteers and mem members made up of parents, educators, administrators, and involved citizens who work together for the common goal of creating the best school building for the children of Bridgewater. There are many who contributed, and they are covered in your program handout, but next I will recognize those who most directly worked with the committee. First, I thank the, my fellow committee members who invested the time and talent for the countless workshops, subcommittee meetings, and public informational sessions over the last four years, including more than 85 public meetings. Notably, the work of the communication group under the leadership of Lil Holbrook and Mike Dolan, uh, including their website that they maintain, maintain, kept the entire process very transparent and open for any and all to see. A primary goal important to many, many members of the committee for such an impactful town project. I thank the owner's project manager, CHA, formerly Daedalus, and their team who have guided the committee and diligently managed the project from conception to opening. They have been a valuable counsel to the town. I thank our partner, the Mass School Building Authority, whose capital and educational facilities planning, the grant, and their modular design to construction process greatly benefited the entire project, especially for a small town like Bridgewater. They know how to build schools. I thank the building design team, led by Raymond Design Associates, whose experience, vision, listening and attention to detail on both paper and in the field have created this awesome learning environment. I hope you make your way through the building to see this 21st century sustainable school and its many features. And finally, I thank the entire construction team led by Bacon Construction, 
who bid and started this project with the uncertainty of the COVID pandemic. Nevertheless, they managed this work through unprecedented supply chain disruptions, remained on top of their subcontractors and supplier, suppliers, and delivered this project on schedule and under budget for the town of Bridgewater. We are at a remarkable less than 2% change order rate, which is, again, remarkable for this type of facility in a municipal environment. So thank you, Bacon Construction. With that, I'd like to introduce our next guest, the Honorable uh, Mark Pacheco. Thank you very much, uh, John. Thank you uh, to uh, all who are here today for the celebration and rededication of the <clears throat> George H. Mitchell School. I had the opportunity just a few moments ago uh, to say hi to Bev, and I haven't had the opportunity to talk to the entire Mitchell family yet, uh, but look forward to doing so in a few moments. Is Many may know when I was telling my colleagues here in the legislature who will join us today, uh, to the town manager, the superintendent of the schools, all the elected officials uh, from the school side and the municipality. Uh, George, if it wasn't for George Mitchell and what I call the other part of the dynamic duel many, many years ago, uh, with the local uh, teachers union, Chris Slater. Uh, this guy standing here talking at the microphone may not have had the opportunity to serve <coughs> all of you in the state legislature. Just amazing individuals. Uh, Judge really cared about the kids really cared about the students and wanted to fight every day to make sure that the resources needed to provide the quality education that the young people deserved were available. Even to the extent, and Beth and I spoke about this just very briefly, to the extent where he and Chris hired a plane with a message that was trailing the plane going around the town when one of the uh, 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 governors w were here wanting to make sure they got the message about the need for state aid uh, for education that particular year when we had a lot of uh, financial turmoil uh, going on. I want to thank all of those who have been involved in putting this project together. It takes a lot of work behind the scenes, the building committee, uh, everyone that is involved in putting this project together. Congratulations. As George did for so many years uh, with his Mitchell Monsters, uh, he touched the future. He made a difference in our collective lives because he shared his life, not only with his family, but everyone he could excite about education. If you ever had the opportunity to go to his room, you, you, you need a map to get out. Uh, because he had all kinds of things strung across the room. Uh, the kids would be dealing with all kinds of games before they even started their class. Uh, he was just amazing uh, to watch the excitement in the little eyes of the students just twinkle because they were excited about learning, education, and George did that. 
in the school and everyone in it will do that for years into the future. So please, uh, as the school has George's name on it, think about him from time to time. Think about what he used um, in terms of his education tools in future generations will be just fine. Uh, I want to thank you all and I have a citation uh, to read on behalf of all of the legislators and if you'll allow me to as part of the program I'm going to present this to, uh, to Bev on behalf of the Mitchell family and it reads as follows uh, State Senate official citation be it known that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends its congratulations to the family of George H. Mitchell in recognition of the official opening and rededication of the George H. Mitchell School in honor of George's lifetime commitment to public education and the students of the Bridgewater Rainham School District. Next guest is the Honorable Walter Timilty. Thank you and good morning. Recently I had the pleasure of touring our brand new George E. Mitchell Elementary School. I was so thoroughly impressed by the state of the art building with its large glass lobby and skylights throughout the building. This project and its leaders have delivered a wonderful elementary school in memory of a great man for this community. This is the direct result of what can happen when a community comes together, especially in memory of George Mitchell. Now, of course, I never had the privilege of meeting Mr. Mitchell, and to each and every member of the Mitchell family, I say congratulations, but from talking to Rep. D'Amelio and Senator Pacheco, I realized what a heck of a person he was. So congratulations to each and every one of the Mitchell family, and thank you. In short, the Mitchell Monsters will love this school, I have no doubt. And I thank you to the residents of this community that have stepped up to authorize an override to cover approximately $48 million for the design and construction of this project. And it is money well spent. For our children of each and every community that across the Commonwealth are our most precious asset. Thank you as well to our Bridgewater <coughs> School Committee, School Building Committee for this community headed by John Garrish, our Vice Chair Michael Dolan, and of course Lil Holbrook and each and every member. You have delivered a wonderful school for this community. I congratulate the town, our teachers, our administration, our students, and of course our citizens. The children of this school district deserve the very best. With the Mitchell, this goal has been realized. Congratulations to this wonderful community. I am privileged to be here. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Our next guest is the Honorable Angelo D'Amelio. Good morning, everybody. I just want to echo the words of my colleagues. They pretty much covered it all. And I want to say that I am extremely proud to serve this community. They have prioritized education to the level that it needs to be prioritized. And I want to thank those taxpayers that stepped up and provided the funding to pay for this facility. It's just a great day. I look out and so many people that put so much time in it, so I want to personally congratulate and thank them for all the effort and the work because it takes many different people to make a project like this come to fruition. So with that, thank you from our community. God bless the Mitchell School. And God bless our community. Thank you. 
Thank you, Representative. Uh, I'd like to introduce our next guest, um, Town Manager Michael. Michael. Thank you very much, um, and I only have a very few words to say, which will make everybody very happy. Um, thinking about what I was going to say this morning, um, I thought, you know, in a way, ribbon cutting ceremonies are very much like the Academy Awards, right? How is that? So we're all here in the same space. We all did a great job. We all know we did a great job. And now we're going to tell each other that we did a great job. <laughs> but really, it's, it's more than that, quite honestly. It's, it's the Mitchell School, this building project, the fact that the Mitchell family is here for the second iteration of a Mitchell School speaks volumes to the community. Taxpayers voting for a new Mitchell School speaks volumes for this community. Making sure we built this right speaks volumes for this community. So as we move forward and as, as we get students in this building and students cherish the education that they're receiving in this building, keep in mind that this community made a concerted effort through the school building committee, through the taxpayers that funded this building, um, and through the students that will go through these doors to get a great education, to improve this community, and to make Bridgewater a place that's a destination for people in the future. So I think that can't be understated. It's just not just a school, it's not just a new asset, it's not just a new building. The people that are populating this building and the people that have funded this building have made a really dedicated effort to improve the lives of children and citizens in Bridgewater. The other piece and the other reason this building is so symbolically important overall is that the school committee, the school building committee, the superintendent, the town council all made a concerted effort to make sure that we did it right. So we don't build things unless we're going to build them right. And I think that that's an important piece of this building and an important piece that's important for the, for the committee and for the uh, community to understand. So despite what I said about the Academy Awards and congratulating each other, um, I do think it's important to thank those that drove this project. Certainly the unsung heroes, uh, Mike Dolan, superintendent of the schools, Derek Swenson, Lil Holbrook, knew how important this building was and when the school building committee might have hesitated here and there about the importance of this building, they stepped up and really explained why this building was so important. To Jack McCarthy and the Massachusetts School Building Authority, thank goodness we have better rules and regulations and funding to be able to build schools like this, quality structures like this in communities such as ours. To our legislators, um, and today we have the privilege of having two state senators here, we probably won't have that for at least another 10 years, if not 20 or 30 years, uh, but we have our legislative team of Senator Pacheco, Senator Timothy, and Rep. D'Amelia, who make sure that the Mass School Building Authority is well funded and properly funded so that we can avail ourselves of funding uh, to build structures like this. The School Building Committee um, was very impressive. I can tell you, for those that didn't watch a meeting, uh, I started out going to meetings and I was wondering why there wasn't, you know, the typical raucous debate um, going on and I can tell you after a while I realized it's because the people we put on the school building committee were professionals. They understood what a building project was. They asked very reasonable and insightful questions and they were guided with the calming and steady hand of Chairman John Garish. And I can tell you in closing that if it wasn't for John Garish, we'd still be talking about the drains in the custodian's closet. Uh, that, that's an inside joke. <laughs> but I thank you very much. John has guided us uh, on a number of building projects very successfully, and he embodies that notion that if we are going to do this, we're going to do it right. 
So I thank you. It's a great day. And I thank the Mitchell family for, for coming to the second iteration because I think this is, this is here to stay. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Those were kind words. I want to introduce our next guest, Superintendent, Mr. Derek Swenson. Thank you, everybody. Um, I ran through my words again this morning, and it was a little under 45 minutes, so <laughs> we should uh, get going here. But uh, I first want to thank everybody in attendance, all of our dignitaries, uh, community members, but especially the Mitchell family. Um, this is a very special day, and um, to quote our American songwriter and poet, Jerry Garcia, what a long, strange trip this has been. So, but we're here today, seven years later, with this state-of-the-art building, and I just want to thank all of those folks who had a hand uh, in providing us the opportunity to cut this ribbon today. First and foremost, the citizens of Bridgewater for approving the new construction and the funding for the new construction. MSBA, who's been wonderful to work with. I cannot say enough about our OPM, CHA, designers, RDA, and construction company, Bacon. They have been phenomenal throughout this process. Thank you all. And I want to thank the unending hard volunteerism by the school building committee, the school committee, town council, and everyone who was involved to get us to this point today so that we have a school in a, for our students and staff they require, but more importantly, a school in which they deserve. Thank you very much. Thank you, Derek. I want to introduce our next guest, Bridgewater Town Council President uh, Fred Chase. Thank you and good morning everyone and a special uh, welcome and thank you to our legislative delegation, uh, Senators Tim uh, Timothy and Pacheco, Representative D'Amelio, and I'd like to welcome and just say good morning to all of the honored guests present today, uh, certainly to include um, the Mitchell family foremost. Uh, it's, it's wonderful to see you all here today and congratulations to uh, all of you for uh, this uh, tremendous uh, tribute to George Mitchell. Uh, just one year ago, uh, one year, one month, and one week to be exact, uh, many of us here today attended the topping off ceremony uh, for this structure, uh, where we could first envision uh, the fine edifice that now stands before us. Um, almost three years ago, the voters of Bridgewater approved the uh, debt exclusion provision, which made possible the construction of a new Mitchell school. And those are only two of the benchmarks uh, on a very lengthy and complex timeline uh, that was carefully orchestrated to uh, enable this building to open on time with a school year that has just commenced. The tremendous work which has been accomplished in the three years since voter approval stands in tribute to the efforts of so many of you. Uh, the school committee certainly, the uh, school building committee, administrators, teachers, town officials and construction workers among others. And I'd like to especially note the contributions of uh, firstly of uh, town manager Michael Dutton uh, and his department heads and town inspectors and public safety officials uh, who've overseen the design and construction of this uh, facility from the very outset. 
The town council itself has had a very limited role uh, in the project compared with the efforts of so many others. Uh, but I would like to call to your attention uh, one notable exception. Uh, school committee member and former town councilor Tim Fitzgibbons uh, had, and the councilors here present here today know this, uh, as a council member he had never missed an opportunity to make inquiries of our town manager, Mr. Dutton, uh, as to is the school building project on schedule and is the school building project on budget? And for his part, the town manager never failed to uh, respond in the affirmative to each of those questions and to keep the council informed at every important stage of the progress of construction. The completed Ele Mitchell Elementary School honors the late George H. Mitchell, a dedicated and innovative teacher whose enthusiasm and imagination captivated students. Uh, I, I mentioned previously my, my son Tyler was a student of George Mitchell. I think that Mr. Mitchell had a profound effect uh, on Tyler and really, I think, changed the course of his outlook toward uh, his education. Um, this edifice is dedicated in his name, but as I think George Mitchell himself would insist, it's also a tribute to the citizens of Bridgewater for their foresight and as well to all of the selfless and talented teachers and administrators that the town of Bridgewater is so fortunate to rely upon year in and year out. On behalf of the town council and for myself, congratulations to all who have endeavored to bring this project to fruition. Thank you. Thank you, President Chase. And now, uh, representing the Mitchell family, I'd like to introduce Mr. Brad Mitchell. This is really cool. All right, so uh, thanks, John. Uh, good morning, and thanks so much for coming out today for this much anticipated occasion. Uh, it's an honor to speak on behalf of our family as we finally get to open the new Mitchell School. We're all certainly grateful for everyone's efforts in getting us to this point, but it's my guess that if George was still here, he would have insisted we could have salvaged the original building with a little duct tape and WD-40. <laughs> uh, but what he may have lacked in the handyman department, he more than made up for in the classroom, where he affectionately coined his students Mitchell's monsters and would tell them once a monster, always a monster. His teaching style and approach could be best described as unconventional, yet incredibly effective whether it was at McElwain School with monkey bars in his readiness room or at Williams with all of his mishmash computers he scrapped together in his fifth grade class, he had a way of making learning fun and engaging. Uh, he also had a unique ability to instill hope, self-esteem, and confidence to those students who may have, felt, who may have otherwise felt they were a lost cause. Uh, he firmly believed every child was reachable and teachable. Simply put, he seemingly had a profound impact on his students and colleagues alike. Uh, the care and love for his students extended well beyond the classroom. Uh, whether it was providing comfort by attending a scary medical appointment in Boston, or secretly paying for a student's meal each day so they wouldn't be the only one in the lunch line with the red ticket, which, come to find out, he ended up continuing to do even after that student had moved on to the next grade. Uh, he was truly selfless and one of a kind. Uh, in an effort to continue his quiet kindness, the Mitchell's Monsters Emergency Fund was established 20 years ago and is still going strong today. Uh, anytime a nurse or teacher sees a student in need of supplies, clothes, etc., they can call Bev and she helps arrange to get them the funds needed to accommodate, and countless students have been helped. Uh, also, I understand the new school features the Mitchell Closet uh, to accommodate kids in need of new school clothes. Without question, George would have been beyond proud of these programs created in his honor and memory. Uh, one of his favorite quotes from philosopher William James read, the greatest use of a life is to do something that will outlast it. It's safe to say he did that and then some. Uh, he sorely missed each day, but honors like this one certainly helped to keep his legacy alive, and we can't thank you enough.
Mitchell family. Uh, I'd like to introduce our next guest representing the Mass School Building Authority, Mr. Jack McCarthy. So unlike this project, I was late. So, um, I actually went to, I had the uh, address for the old school, so I, I was there by myself. I was looking for all my friends, like Mark and Walter and everybody. So um, on behalf of uh, Treasurer Goldberg, thank you for uh, allowing uh, the MSBA to be part of this celebration. You know, the uh, mission of the Mass School Building Authority is to partner with Massachusetts communities to support the design and construction support the design and construction of educationally appropriate, flexible, sustainable, and cost-effective public school facilities. And this project certainly meets that ideal. Uh, Benjamin Franklin once said, an investment in education pays the best interest. And we at the MSBA are proud to be your investing partner to the tune of approximately $32 million for this. And you know, we have Murderer's Row over here for, for your uh, delegation. <laughs> I think you'll be hearing from them later, but you know Mark Pacheco, Walter Timothy, uh, Representative Amelia. You know these guys are unbelievable. Um, they're the all stars of, of of delegation. They're uh, I think they have me on speed dial because they're always calling me, making sure that uh, I'm taking care of you know the Mitchell School and all the projects they have in there in their district. So thank you all for your leadership on this. And, you know some of these guys have been around a while and were around when the MSBA was created in 2004. And, you know, the genius of that legislation was the, the funding that they gave us. And they gave us a penny of the sales tax. And that's how we're able to plan, you know, and do cross multiple fiscal years projects. And that's how we're able to be as successful as we've been. So again, thank you for the leadership you showed back in 2004. And uh, I, we couldn't be happier at the MSPA. Um, Try to think you have CHA consulting, you have uh, Agostini, or is it, are you Bacon Agostini this time? You Bacon Agostini. And uh, who else? Uh, oh, Gene Raymond as your designer. And so I, I just want to congratulate the team here, your building committee, for assembling that great group of consultants. And, you know, this building's on time, on budget. And when I saw who you had, I knew that was going to be the case because that's what they do for us all over the Commonwealth. So, you guys give yourself a round of applause for picking such a, such great uh, consultants. You can do that. And I just want to just want to close. There's a there's a uh, quote, and Walter and Mark are probably sick of hearing it, but they've heard it from me a long time. But it, it sort of gives you an idea of how we feel about what we do at the MSBA. So Dan Valentine was a reporter for the Salt Lake City Tribune. And he once described a school as a building of four walls with tomorrow inside. And we here at the MSBA are proud to be part of Bridgewater's Tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. McCarthy. I'd like to introduce um, our next Speaker for closing remarks, uh, Regional School Committee Chairwoman Lillian Holper. Good morning, everyone. It's so like wow, this is such an incredible, incredible building and such a wonderful journey we were on. On behalf of the school committee, though, I would like to thank everyone who works and continues to work on making the George H. Mitchell Elementary School a reality. I would like to acknowledge the School Building Committee for volunteering their time, effort, and expertise that has helped to make this project a success. I would also like to recognize our superintendent, Mr. Derek Swenson, for his leadership in guiding the district through the seven-year journey. From pivoting after the roof collapse and relocating all of our students into available space to the planning and opening of this new, beautiful Mitchell School. Superintendent Swenson, we can't thank you enough for your vision and your dedication. 
It's also important for us to thank our talented faculty and staff. They have played an integral part in the project design, setup, and opening of the school. As a team, they have brought our new learning environment to life through creativity, innovation, and collaboration. I would be remiss if I also did not thank our partners, the Massachusetts School Building Authority, for funding and overseeing the project every step of the way. I would especially like to thank the voters of Bridgewater who voted to move this school project forward and invest in the future of our children and our community. As I said, this has been a seven year journey. While this journey began with sadness and frustration, along the way we have tra transitioned to excitement, optimism for the future. The community came together truly to see this school come to fruition. On behalf of the bridgewater Rainham Regional School Committee, I would like to express our sincere appreciation to the members of the Bridgewater community for their support. Over the past two weeks, I have had the privilege to visit the Mitchell School, and I was speaking to some of the students. I asked them what they thought about their new school. Many of the students said it's awesome, colorful, bright, clean, fancy, spectacular, and impeccable. <laughs> it has a cool, cool playground. I love all the books and stuffed animals in the library. But my personal favorite was when a second grader asked me, who paid for this school? <laughs> and I answered by saying, all the people in this wonderful town. Wow, he said, that means the town really likes us. <laughs> is it, it is exciting to see the George H. Mitchell Elementary come to life through the children's eyes and experiences, a place where learning and play helps our students to flourish now and in the future years ahead. Thank you. Okay, and now for the main event, um, the ribbon cutting. So I'd like to invite up um, Superintendent uh, Michael Dutton, Town Manager Michael Dolan, no? I'm sorry. Oh, Lillian. I'm sorry. See, I didn't write it down. And myself. here before we invite you in to see the new building is um, um, we are honoring uh, many of the uh, people who volunteered and worked to, to make this project happen we uh, honor them with a, with a hard hat a Mitchell School building hard hat so I'm just going to list the names and who they're associated with Alyssa Catani with CHA, the owner's project manager. Representative uh, Angelo D'Amelia. Christina Opper with CHA. Daniel Jones, former uh, school committee building member. Dennis Bray. Derek Swenson. 
Eric DeRozier's former committee member, Eric Langone, former committee member, Gene Raymond, the, the um, architect from RDA, Jerry Chipman, former committee member, Harsh Ravello, current member, Jim Perry, former member, John Desalio, former member, John Feely, former member of the committee, myself, Joseph Orvec, current, current member, Joe Sullivan with CHA, Judy McDougall, executive assistant to the superintendent, Kathy Blaze, former committee member, Kathy Macedo, director of business services, Kerry Puglia, Bacon Construction, Kevin Kudo, Bacon Construction, Lil Holbrook, Lisa Oman, um, Mitchell School second grade teacher and a uh, longtime committee member. Mal Bemby, former committee member. Senator Pacheco. Mark Lindy, current committee member. Matt Rushton, uh, current committee member of Bridgewater Town Council. Town Manager Dutton. Melissa Desardin, former committee member. Michael Loesch, current member of the committee. Michael McNulty, CHA uh, Owners Project Manager. Michael Dolan, the uh, Committee Vice Chair. Pat Driscoll, current committee member. Rick Ruder, Bacon Construction. Ryan Powers, Assistant Superintendent. Scott Washup, current mem uh, committee member. Sean Sweeney, CHA. Shane Nolan, CHA. Sydney Bragg, CHA, Steve Agostini, Bacon Construction, Thomas Gatsunas, CHA, Tim Fitzgibbons, School Committee, Tom Kilgar, Director of Facilities, Senator Tamiltis. Thank you all for um, participating and making this project happen. to uh, for some refreshments and to see the school. Thank you all for being here today.